I, I wish there could be an invention that bottled up the memory like perfume and it never faded, never got stale. Then whenever I wanted to, I could uncork the bottle and, and live the memory all over again. And what particular moment in your young life would you want to keep? Oh, all of them, all these last few days. I, I feel as though I'd, I'd collected a whole shelf full of bottles. Hello. What are you doing here? Anything the matter? I've come to say goodbye. We're going away. What on earth are you talking about? It's true. We're going now, and I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. Where's she taking you to? New York. I don't want to go. I, I shall hate it. I shall be miserable. I'll dress in here. I shan't be long. Which would you prefer? New York or Mandalay? Oh, please don't joke about it. Mrs. Van Hoppe is waiting and I th I'd better say goodbye now. I repeat what I said. Either you go to America with Mrs. Van Hoppe or you come home to Mandalay with me. You mean you want a secretary or something? I'm asking you to marry me, you little fool. This is Mrs. Danvers. How do you do? How do you do? I have everything in readiness for you. That's very good of you. I, I didn't expect anything. I think we'd like some tea, Frith. Ready in the library, sir. Come along, darling. Mrs. De Winter? Oh, I'm afraid you've made a mistake. Mrs. De Winter's been dead for over a year. Oh, I mean... Uh... Oh. That was the house telephone, madam. Probably the head gardener wishing instructions. Did you want to see me, Mrs. Danvers? Mr. De Winter informed me that his sister, Mrs. Lacey, and Major Lacey are expected for luncheon. I'd like to know if you approve of the menu. Oh, well, well, I'm, I'm sure it's very suitable, very, very nice indeed. You'll notice, madam, that I've left a blank space for the sauce. Mrs. De Winter was most particular about sauces. Um, let's have whatever you think that Mrs. De Winter would have ordered. Thank you, madam. When you've finished your letters, Robert will take them to the post. My, le my letters? Oh, yes, of, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Danvers. I think she'd been gone so long, would you? Sometimes, when I walk along the corridor, I fancy I hear her just behind me. That quick, light step. I couldn't mistake it anywhere. It's not only in this room. It's in all the rooms in the house. I can almost hear it now. Do you think the dead come back and watch the living? No, no, I don't believe it. Sometimes. I wonder if she doesn't come back here to Mandalay. Watch you and Mr. De Winter together. You sent for me, madam. Yes, Mrs. Danvers. I want you to get rid of all these things. These are Mrs. De Winter's things. I am Mrs. De Winter now. I watched you go down, just as I watched her a year ago. Even in the same dress you couldn't compare. You knew it. You knew that she wore it, and yet you deliberately suggested I wear it. Why do you hate me? What have I done to you that you should ever hate me so? You tried to take her place. You let him marry you. I've seen his face, his eyes. Well, the same as those first weeks after she died. I used to listen to him, walking up and down, up and down, all night long, night after night, thinking of her, suffering torture because he'd lost her. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You thought you could be Mrs. DeWinter. Live in her house, walk in her steps, take the things that were hers, but she's too strong for you. You can't fight her. No one ever got the better of her. Never, never. She was beaten in the end, but it wasn't a man, it wasn't a woman. It was the sea. Oh, stop it, stop it, oh, stop it. <laughs>